Hey guys, this is Sushan. Yesterday we got the update of Luma Fusion 5 and finally we got the feature called speed ramp and the advanced keyframing and now it's unlocked the potential to improve the editing and the beautiful motion graphics creation. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create the speed ramp in an easy way. It will take just few minutes to understand first then after that it will be the easy process just within the two or three minutes you will always create the speed ramp effect okay now let's play the demo first see how beautiful it's working in the single clip okay let's play it again how it's getting fast then it's getting slower then again fast okay so now I will turn off this clip and let's learn to create in Luma Fusion 5. Now this is the raw clip here. You can see it's a slow-mo clip. I've done nothing in this clip. So first select the clip and go to the edit. Here you can find the speed and reverse option and you can find the frame and fit. Everything is same but in the speed and reverse you will find this option called speed configuration and here they have made some changes okay and we are going to learn this thing okay right now it is 1x and on the top here you can see something very new that is the advanced keyframing just tap to turn on on in the bottom right corner here you can see there's one more option called overlays you can turn on this overlay to compose your frame you can see the video okay you can change the grid like this i will select the three by three title save will be on and action save will be on okay now let's learn how to achieve the speed ramp effect okay first we need to understand in speed ramp what exactly happens in the single clip it will create a dynamic slow-mo and the fast effect that is the speed ramp okay so here what you can do first watch the clip carefully from where you have to make the fast action and the slow action okay just play the clip like this okay so now here you can see from the start we want the fast action so it will move like this fast okay it will move like this fast and slow and fast okay now to create the speed ramp effect first we need to understand the keyframing process how to do the keyframing previously i have teach you how to do the keyframing but again i am going to teach you just move your playhead to the start point from where we are going to do the fast action okay so now in the bottom over here in the corner you can find this keyframing as you turn on it will convert into blue and here you can see some kind of change in the graph okay here you can see the green and the purple one the purple one represents the purple slider see this is the purple slider and the purple graph and the green slider will affect the green graph okay so now just now we have created the first keyframe now we have to make a second keyframe from where to where we want the fast action so let's see play the video stop i think from here it will start the slow action so from here to here let's find out again i think this point is perfect now make a keyframe it means from this keyframe to this keyframe it will be the fast action okay now we have to create the slow action so for that we have to create another keyframe from where to where we want the slow action see from here let's play i think this is perfect from here to here we want another slow action now let me explain you again from the first keyframe to the second keyframe we want the fast action from the middle keyframe to the last we want the slow then rest will be the linear one okay so now we have done the keyframing now we have to play with the speed so for that move your 
play head to the first keyframe and now jump to the speed and configuration on the right hand side now we have to increase the speed so we want the fast action so now let's play with the slider and here you can see the change in the graph and now let's play it can extend up to the 6 now let's move the value to the 5 let's play it's moving too fast let's play with the 3 value let's see. it's slow i think i think the 4 value will work perfect okay now here you can see the action of the speed and the slow mo okay but the rest part is linear now we have to make correction in the slow mo so from the middle portion we want the slow action okay now let's move to the speed and configuration and we have to scale down means we have to lower the speed so let's play with the 90 let's see how slow it will go that's great but we want little more slow so i think 80 will be the perfect see perfect okay now rest part is very much linear and very slow mo we want the fast action so for that you have to move your play head to the last keyframe to create the fast action okay now again jump to the speed and configuration and move your slider like this and let's check how fast you want let's select the four value as we have selected the four value over here and let's play how this thing works okay perfect but at the last point i found that it's getting more quicker so we will reduce the speed to the three let's see perfect now it's looking more natural at the end at the starting it will be the fast and last will be the little slower but it will be the faster here you can see we have created the speed ramp effect in luma fusion 5 but it's not complete okay i will explain you why we need to play with the smoothness of the video okay to look more professional okay so for that we need to play with this bottom sliders purple and the green one okay over there we are going to use the ease in out key framing okay let's understand how this thing works let's move our cursor that is the purple one slider that is the purple slider let's move like this and here you can see the change in the graph okay so what it represent this graph represent the faster and this one is the slower portion okay let's play again now see the change getting it and over here in the second keyframe here you can see if you want this person to be more slow okay so what you can do you can play with the purple slider like this and try to extend like this upper so it will stretch like this so it will create the slow mo let's play it again video clip is getting more slow over here because of this graph okay we have pushed the graph little bit upper to the y-axis see now it's looking more natural let's play perfect play it again perfect okay like this you can achieve the speed ramp effect in luma fusion right now it will found little difficult okay in the coming up class means in tutorial i am going to teach this thing in very much detail about this graph how this thing work so you can create any motion graphic effect or the speed ramp you can improve your speed ramp more so i will explain you the green graph and the purple graph and what 
this line says about the graph how this thing works and create the fast action slow action so stay tuned with the video okay see you soon in the brand new video till then take care stay safe bye bye